wool is not waterproof, but it's kind of water resistant and we can make it more waterproof by lanolizing it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that at the end of today's video. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to wash and lanolize now. I'm gonna start with how to clean out um, if you get a poopy mark. So I actually already put my diaper in the water, but you don't need to. So if we get poop stains on the inside of the wool cover, we're gonna take just a little bit of wool soap. I use Eucalan, it's my favorite. And I'm just gonna put it on that poop and I'm gonna just work it in, squish, 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 and try and get that poop out. I'm gonna rinse it and squish it. You don't actually have to get the whole entire diaper wet. I mean, it's probably going to get wet, but you don't have to thoroughly soak it. I'm just gonna continue to squish and rinse. And if it's really tough, I might scrub a little tiny bit, but I'm just gonna try my best to get that stain out. And then when it's time to wash the entire diaper, so say your diapers are starting to get a little, you know, you're starting to smell urine on them, you're just going to put a couple of pumps or even one pump of eucalyptus in a, a dish of water. I'm using this, um, this is actually, I think, it's, I think it's used in automotive for oil changes, but I use them in my studio. I have lots of uses for them down there. So it's perfect for, for me for washing and lanolizing diapers. So you could use your bathroom sink or your, even your kitchen sink for that matter. So then I'm gonna soak the diaper. I'm gonna pat it in. So here's the diaper. I'm just patting it to make sure it's soaked in nicely. And I'm just gonna let that sit there for, you know, maybe five minutes. I don't wanna leave it too long. This one is perfectly clean, so I'm not gonna leave it. But if, if it were dirty, I would leave it five or 10 minutes. I really don't like leaving them in too long. And now I'm gonna show you how to lanolize and how easy that is. So I've got a cup of hot water and I have some pure lanolin. You can pick this up. Um, they sell it even as a breast ointment for breastfeeding moms. I'm going to take out just, this is probably tons for one little diaper, but I think this is a good amount. And I'm gonna put it in, a, this is a dish of hot water. So I'm just gonna melt this in here. I'm gonna take a couple minutes to melt. Okay, now that that's all melted, we're going to add a little bit of soap. I'm gonna use the eucalyptus. You can use, you know, you can use anything. You could even use dish soap or baby shampoo is a good idea. I like to use wool wash though. So what we're gonna do is emulsify the lanolin with the water. You'll know it's working when this turns into, uh, it'll be solid white. It'll look like a glass of milk. Watch this. And here we have it. Looks like a glass of milk. Okay, now we don't want this to be too hot going into our warm water. The water is, actually my water's a bit on the cool side. It's not terribly warm and this is really hot. So I'm gonna put, I don't have a lot of space in here, but I'm gonna put a little bit of cold water from my fridge in here to cool it down just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in really slowly because sometimes it'll break and then it'll look lumpy and chunky and get little lumps and chunks on my diaper cover. Okay. And now we just have to put our diaper in, our diaper cover in. So you wanna make sure you put it in upside down like so, you know, like inside out, I mean, not upside down. And you're just gonna soak it in. And you can do this damp right from washing it. You don't need to dry it in between. But you don't wanna lanolize it unless it's clean, so. I always clean first. And I see a lot of people saying to leave it in. I don't, I don't, Personally, I don't leave it in a long time. And I don't have any problems with it. Just 
Squish it around for a couple minutes. Make sure it's really nicely soaked in. You really want to make sure the lanolin is soaked all the way through all these, this, these layers. Now we're ready to dry. Well, we're going to get it ready to dry. So what you want to do is just, you just want to be gentle, right? We're not going to, we don't want to felt this any more than it already is. It's just perfect the way it is. So we're just going to gently squeeze out as much water as we can. We're not wringing it, we're just squeezing it. Like so. I'm going to lay it on a towel. Okay. So actually I'll move it over here and we're just going to cover it. I'm going to roll it up and squeeze it. You're just going to try and get as much water out of that as you can. You can roll it around a little. Now, you're just gonna hang this, not hang it, sorry, you're gonna lay it dry. Um, you know what, I actually will lay it on my vents in my house if I have my fan on or my furnace on, and it'll help to dry it. Actually, what I have discovered, I'll see if I can find a link to it, but I've discovered those little, um, they're bamboo, I don't have any here, but I'll see if I can get a picture of one. They're little bamboo wooden racks, they're like dish racks, and I found they're just perfect for setting diapers on, and it'll fit right over top of your um, vents in your house. And so that it'll dry them just like this. It's so perfect. But if not, you know, you can just lay it in a sunny spot to get some sun and uh, to dry. And just lay it flat anywhere, really. You could put a towel down and lay it. And it'll dry. It'll, you know, depending on if you get it over a, if you get it over a vent, it will dry from wet like this in, I don't know, it might take a whole entire day but if it doesn't, I mean, if you're over a vent standing up, it'll be a lot faster. So that's it for these. Let's see the bum now. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks for watching today's video. If you got value out of this video, please like it and subscribe if you're so inclined. I would also love to hear from you in the comments. Have you tried wool? Will you try wool? What are your thoughts? Tell me all the things. Thanks so much. See you next time.